let's start with this. Obviously, a lot of uh, attention being paid now to the Daddy Make Boom Boom in the Desert uh, play by Donald Trump. But what will have perhaps more salience over the next 20 or 30 years will be the uh, nuclear option, which was pulled by Mitch McConnell today in the Senate, allowing Republicans to break a perfectly um, rule-abiding Democratic filibuster of a Supreme Court nominee, Neil Gorsuch. Uh, here is how it went down in the Senate. <clears throat> Madam President. The Majority Leader. Our Democratic colleagues have done something uh, today that is unprecedented in the history of the Senate. Unfortunately, it has brought us to this point. We need to restore the norms and traditions of the Senate and get past this unprecedented partisan filibuster. Therefore, I raise a point of order that the vote on cloture under the precedent set on November 21st, 2013, is a majority vote on all nominations. The ayes uh, are 48, the nays are 52. The decision of the chair does not stand as the judgment of the Senate. Okay, so let me just, there was a cut there, and I'll explain what happened. When McConnell does that as the Senate uh, majority leader, having put someone else in the chair. When he made that ruling, the chair said, uh, I'm sorry, that's against the Senate rules. And then what happened is McConnell filed an appeal to the ruling of the chair, and then there was a vote, a majority vote won that appeal, and Orrin Hatch presided over that vote, and announced that the ruling of the chair did not stand, and that is when the filibuster went away. Now, you could see how sad and morose Mitch McConnell was that he had to do this in light of this unprecedented partisan move by the Democrats to use the completely with, consistent with the rules of the Senate filibuster. It's unbelievable for a man like that who has given so much to that institution to see that type of partisanship, I'm sure. In fact, I remember, I'm so old, uh, what he was saying in August of 2016 at a rally in a uh, fancy farm, I think it was, in, in Kentucky. One of my proudest moments is when I looked at Barack Obama in the eye and I said, Mr. President, you will not fill this Supreme Court vacancy. So, do we want Jim Gray and Hillary Clinton shaping the Supreme Court? No. Do we want Jim Gray and Hillary Clinton propping up Obamacare? No. There you go. Um, uh, Mitch That's McConnell fine. talking about one of the proudest moments he's ever had is when I um, completely broke all tradition and history in the Senate and refused to give even a hearing to that president who, to be fair to McConnell, broke all precedent by being black and president in this country. Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.